In the movie Avengers Infinity War, a supervillain named Thanos thinks he can solve the world's problems by erasing half the population. This video explains why the Thanos solution can't work, then it suggests some things that can, if only we're courageous enough to do them. But first, let Thanos explain his plan. Titan was like most planets. Too many mouths, not enough to go around. And when we faced extinction, I offered a solution. Genocide. But random, dispassionate, fair to rich and poor alike. We were happy on my own planet. Going to bed hungry, scrounging for scraps. Your planet was on the brink of collapse. I'm the one who stopped that. Do you know what's happened since then? The children born have known nothing but full bellies and clear skies. It's a paradise. Yes, but only briefly. Because of growth over time, a successful species eventually conflicts with its environment. This graph shows how such a species evolves. At first, competition and limited numbers prevent rapid growth. Then there's a period of fast growth with no constraints. Finally, the species collides with resource limits and deaths equal births. This is a typical species history. Now for the famous snap. In the Avengers movie, supervillain Thanos snaps his fingers and half the world's population disappears. For those who don't understand science, that appears to solve the world's problems. But a realistic look at the biological timeline shows the snap doesn't solve anything. It just kicks the can down the road. As this chart shows, about 65 years after Thanos' magic cure, we face the same problems. There are any number of social and environmental problems. This just shows a few highlights. But no matter how many things we list, they're all symptoms of an underlying problem, world overpopulation. Overpopulation is the root problem, the source of the other issues. But even though it's easy to state, it's nearly impossible to fix. Here's an example to show why controlling the birth rate is so important. Let's say we cooperate and cut our per capita energy use in half by, for example, replacing all our gas and diesel powered cars with electrics and powering the new cars with renewable energy like wind and solar. That would be a fantastic outcome, but if we let 65 years go by with no other changes, the population would double and wipe out our achievement. We'd be back to square one. This means, no matter what else we do, we must address population. There are two ways to solve the population problem, top-down and bottom-up. Top-down means governments or religions dictating policy to individuals. Human history shows why top-down doesn't work. It divides people into opposing factions who begin to fight with each other. Solving the population problem bottom-up means educating people, preparing them to think for themselves, and giving them the right and the knowledge to act in their own self-interest. It also requires creation of a new fundamental human right, the right of reproductive self-determination. People might ask, if this bottom-up solution is so obvious, why isn't it true already? Studies show educated women, women who have choice, have smaller families. Their children are healthier and better educated. If this change were universal, the global birth rate would decline and population would stabilize. The environment might begin to heal itself. You might wonder how anyone could object to that. Well, as it turns out, people who rely on economic growth, on the stock market, don't want the birth rate to stabilize because stocks wouldn't increase in value anymore. In fact, if the population were to stabilize, we would need to overhaul the economic system so it could function without constant growth. But in the meantime, those who rely on perpetual economic growth are standing in the way of the changes we need to repair our planet. In their world, it's easier to buy a gun than a birth control pill. For these people, climate change is fake news, and scientists who say otherwise are silenced or fired. This needs to change. Thanks for watching and for thinking.